exhale. Okay. If you're new, you're not one of my babies, you get one kiss on the floor noggin. And for all of my returning babies, you get multiple kisses. Mama loves you. Okay. Let's start our session off with a prayer. It is not a religious prayer. It is a prayer to root us in our individual healing experience and bring us together as a community and as a collective. And because consent matters, do I have your permission to say a prayer? Okay, babies, let's do this. You ready? Dear universe, and all for the highest good only, please connect us to our highest self and validate information for our highest good only. Please allow us to release what we need to let go and embrace what allows us to grow. Let our journey encompass the lineages, traditions, religions, and spiritual paths that bring light out through us to share with others. I say all of this in the name of my yam. Ashe, 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 okay. A couple more breaths. Give me another breath. I let it 
Instead of worrying about the things you cannot control. 
Yeah. 
fix the situation. Patience. What, what makes it patience? What makes the situation patience is that you want something or you want to do something or you feel like something may not happen regardless of what that is and you have to sit with it and allow it to work itself out in the time that it takes not the time that you're trying to force it to be patience can be a struggle for a couple of reasons the first reason being you're so excited about something and you just want it to happen now that's straightforward we get it you know and you gotta be patient it's going to happen just give it time another reason why patience can be difficult is because you have something that you don't believe will come to pass you don't believe it will come to be so you want to hurry up and rush through it and get through it because you're afraid it's not really going to happen. And patience there, of course, teaches you, yes, it will come to be. And you have to work on your self-doubt, self-compassion, and self-patience. All of these things have a lot to do with mindset. And so as you're sitting here, laying or listening, whatever it is, what I want you to do is tap into your body. And as you're tapped into your body, start to ask yourself a couple of questions, okay? Ask yourself first, how do I feel? Feelings are two things. Well, two things come to mind right now. How you feel and how you feel how you feel on the outside is like do I feel nice and cozy and warm does my elbow itch you know that kind of feeling how I feel on the inside has a lot to do with your mood I want you to focus on your mood the mood that you have in the various parts of your day okay now put your mood to the side and I want you to think about your will you ever heard somebody say your willpower, the willpower to do something? Like uh, my favorite example, and y'all probably laugh about this is nowadays people can maybe um, not work so hard towards chasing their dreams. I'm not saying everyone, but if they are chasing love, these people do not quit. They don't know what they're doing in life, okay? They're confused. They can't get it. They can't figure out a lot of things, but let it have to be with love, and they will figure everything out. I mean, it crosses language barriers, and it's just kind of like a funny little thing that I like to think about, which means regardless of what it is you're focusing on, you do have the potential within yourself, even if you don't believe it to be so, right then and there. So their willpower on that person who is chasing um, some type of love, some fleeting love, they're saying, I don't care if there's a language barrier. I don't care if there's a physical barrier. I'm going to figure this out. Uh, and so, yes, love, love will do that for people. So if you ever feel that you can't do something, go, go see these people who be in these struggle relationships because they believe in the impossible. Now, I'm not telling you to be in a struggle relationship. I'm just simply saying, if they're believing the impossible and you can see it with your own eyes that it's not going to work, why can't your dreams work? Because that's actually more possible. I'm just putting it out there like that. <laughs> it's just amazing. When we have willpower, what we can do. And so, instead of it just being impulsive based on, oh, I need to be in this codependent, blah, 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 that's why your willpower is popping up. Think about it from this perspective. What is it that you want? What is it that is a part of your soul's mission here? And how can you? make the decision that yes I'm going to go after this and regardless of your mood we we're talking about how we feel regardless of your mood allow your willpower to make the decision 
decision that this will happen, this will come to be. Now, when you first do this, it will probably feel good. It'll probably feel like, yes, this is right. But you have to protect your mental space. That means the people you're around, situations, circumstances, the things that you consume things you watch, the things that you listen, because some people will self-isolate from others, but at the same time be consuming so much information that it's doing the same thing as if they were in the mix with people all the time. So be mindful of what it is you consume during that period. I am not one that thinks that every moment of life needs to be consumed with making ourselves better. That's unrealistic. I just think that if you have a dream in your heart and you're working towards that, you can work to get better there or to make movement there as opposed to every single thing, you know, <laughs> your skincare routine.
Sometimes. 
just be 
as a species rather than um, what <laughs> Western uh, academics initially said, which was there had to be some aliens who helped them do this because if it doesn't come from European history, then it must have been an alien. <laughs> no, uh, I'm one of those people that I feel like it would be crazy to think that we're the only people out in the universe. We're probably not. I also think that life probably takes on a different form, like we experience life differently and, you know, I'm smart enough to say that I don't know anything. <laughs> Understood. 
messages and you're trying to take every message as face value, you don't have to. We just want to gently sift through what is actually important <laughs> and what we can just move to the side. So you just simply follow. session off with a prayer. It is not a religious prayer, just a prayer to root us in our individual healing experience and to bring us together as a community and because consent matters, do I have your permission to say a prayer? Okay. Let's get started.
answers that I have inside. Cheat to code, yes, you can trust. <laughs> but in those moments, it may feel like the answer is more complicated or complex than what it is. It isn't. You always have to do what is best for you. And if you are genuinely doing something that is best for you,
around you. 